start our soup, we're going to peel two carrots. And we can save the scraps for our stock. Slice off both of the ends. And then we can also save the ends for our stock. Then come through and thinly slice the carrot. Once they are done, just add them into a bowl. Then with two stalks of celery, we're just going to thinly slice these as well. And once that's done, just add them to the bowl with the carrots. With two cloves of garlic, I'm just going to thinly slice these. It doesn't have to be perfect as it's all going to be pureed at the end. Then add them to the bowl with the veggies. With two brown onions, remove both of the ends. Slice them in half and remove the skins. And we can save the onion skins and the ends for a stock. Slice the onion into quarters, rotate it 90 degrees and roughly chop. Then once that's done, add it to the bowl with the other vegetables. Here is half of a butternut pumpkin or squash. And with a spoon, we're just going to scoop out the pulp and the seeds and just discard of that. With a peeler or a knife, remove the skin and discard. Remove both ends. Then slice it in half. In half again. And then in half again. And you should end up with eight pieces. Then come through and roughly dice this up. And try to cut all the pieces the same size. This way they'll all cook evenly. And once all that's done, just place it into a bowl. Then last but not least, with one spring onion or scallion, remove the white bulb end and keep the green stalks. We can save the bulb end for another dish. Then on about a 25 degree angle, we're going to thinly slice. And we're going to be using this for a garnish. Once that's done, add that to a bowl and pop it aside. With a large heavy base pot, place it onto a high heat once it's nice and hot, add two tablespoons of olive oil. Add in the carrots, celery, garlic and onion. Give this a good mix around and fry this off for about five to six minutes, just until the onions become nice and translucent. During this time, we're going to frequently mix this just to prevent much color from forming. After six minutes and the onions are translucent, add in the diced pumpkin or squash. Then give this a good mix around and cook this for another six minutes, making sure to stir it frequently. And if we get too much color onto the veggies, we won't have a nice bright colored end product. And instead, the soup will look kind of dull. After six minutes, add one liter of vegetable stock and I'll make sure to leave the link to my stock in the description below. Give this a good mix around and bring it to a boil. Once this is at a boil, give it one last mix. Reduce the heat to a medium low and allow it to simmer for six to seven minutes or until you can easily break up the pumpkin or squash with a spoon. After six minutes, all of the veggies are nice and soft. Remove it from the heat, and if you're going to puree this for a blender, allow it to cool down for 15 to 20 minutes to avoid your blender from cracking. If you are using an immersion blender, you can puree this straight away. And make sure to puree this until it's completely smooth. Once it's completely smooth, add in 150 milliliters or two thirds of a cup of heavy cream. And to make this vegan, you can substitute the cream for coconut milk. Mix all of the cream through until it's fully combined. Check it for seasoning. And I'm going to add in one teaspoon of sea salt and about half a teaspoon of ground white pepper. Just remember that seasoning is always to your taste. You can always add, but you can't take out. Then before we serve up, here I have one mini sourdough loaf. I'm just going to slice off a couple of pieces and toast them up. Ladle the soup into serving bowls. And to give it a nice pattern over the top, I'm just going to drizzle a little bit of cream over it. This part's optional, but here I have a nutmeg and I'm just going to grate over a small amount. This adds a nice nutty and sweet taste to the soup, as well as a fantastic aroma. Garnish the soup with the chopped spring onions or scallions. And to finish it off, serve it with some nice toasted bread. Now let's give this a try. The flavors in this soup are absolutely fantastic. It's rich, it's sweet, savory, creamy, 
It has a great consistency. It's not too thick and it's not too thin. The nutmeg adds a great nutty flavour and the spring onions or scallions really top it off. This soup serves four to six people and can be stored in the fridge for up to four days and it can also be stored in the freezer for up to six months. It's the perfect soup to warm yourself up on those cold and rainy days. Please enjoy.